This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. Welcome fish lovers to Sax Tanks Crazy Aquarium Guy. So the new job in the new city has been crazy. Uh, the plan from the beginning was that I will be there four to five times a week, uh, times a week and two days in this apartment take care of my 13 aquariums. But in the beginning I've been there like Tuesday to the next Wednesday. So my brother actually been helping me with water changes and stuff. And when I've been home, I've been home 48 hours. And that's just enough to take care of all of my fish and then go back again. And I still don't have any Wi-Fi or anything. Uh, no internet in my apartment over there. So sorry guys, that's why I haven't kept doing videos because I haven't had the time. And you know, my economy has been shit for a long time. so. I really need to do my best at this job, but I still want to keep my fish here. So thank you so much for being so patient. But as a thank you or as a, an, ah, whatever, I'm going to do an old school fish room tour. An old school, I mean, I'm not going to cut in between the aquariums and just show you the aquariums in with the tripod and then cut the video and go to the next with the tripod. I'm gonna go around my apartment and show you all my aquariums in the same video and do it pretty quick as well because I haven't done that since I started the channel. So as a thank you for your patience and uh, hopefully you forgive me, I will now wait till later, of course, because it's crazy hot. That's not a problem. Fish has been dying all over the place because the aquariums has been staying at 85 90 degrees in the water so that's too hot almost too hot for discus but anyway i'm gonna wait till late at night because it's uh, no aquariums are on yet but i'm gonna walk around and don't mind my messy apartment just enjoy the aquariums but i have to do this because i don't even remember what i promised you guys to show you the next video or next time we do a video of this and i promised so much so I'm gonna do a tour of all aquariums instead. Hope that's gonna be fun and hope you're enjoying it. And this is also the first take, so sorry for talking too much. But let's go fish lovers and thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, I'm gonna get better at this when I get the routines in. More videos again. So don't worry, I'm here, I'm here to stay. Let's go. So here is the front door to my condo and I do have an alarm system so people can steal my fish now that I'm away four days a week but we're gonna do a classic old-school fish room tour so right in the hallway we have the 32 gallon queue with the dragon puffer I added in the Anubias plant that has been growing on a piece of driftwood for like two years so I had to add something green in here besides this Abwasa tank and the tank's looking good. I tried it. You can see some small, some small piece of hair algae. Not a lot. And I tried to put in a baby Siamese algae eater, but uh, the dragon puffer thought that was just a treat for the night. So he killed it first the first night. And he is hanging out over here. He's doing fine, getting shrimps. Still eats shrimps and rapashi. I'm gonna do this tour pretty quick so I'm not gonna stay long on each aquarium. That's the dragon puffer tank. So here's my kitchen. Here is a 206 Fluval 206 filter and two sponge filters on my what I'm gonna call it. I have four L52 plecos in here that I've been trying to breed and also I'm breeding endlers in here and black rose shrimps in here so this tank looks pretty good this tank was supposed to be just for plecos so I haven't paid much attention to it more than throwing in two big plants and do big water changes so uh, for some reason a lot of fish are hiding right now of course it's gonna be like that when you do an uncut walkabout tour. Here is my supply of giant ram's horn snails. 
and an auto repeater for that tank as well or tank tub I'm gonna show you some of them I have a lot see I need a lot because I have a big vodka so these are not giant ramstorm snails I know I say that every time because so many people misunderstand uh, do you say it like that misunderstand Mis ah, you know what I mean giant ramstorm snails their shells are super hard and that's good so we can keep trimming down the beaks on the vodka so this is my I think it's 30 gallon no like more like 27 gallon pond that where I uh, breed my own snails and then I can also give them fresh spinach fresh dill fresh fresh parsley uh, frozen broccoli really good nutrition values in them and then feed them to the fajaca so the fajaca gets really good nutrition nutrients you know what I mean and here's just a simple shrimp tank I've been keeping for a while I change water once a month maybe no once every 20 days and it's no high quality share shrimps in here or anything but it's so low maintenance so I I don't take it down and if you wonder where all the plants went that was because that I I put in a couple of giant ramson snails to eat up all the algae and all the plants because there was so much algae in those gu guppy grass pieces that it couldn't be saved so let's continue with the tour this is how I did it when I started my channel and a lot of people have been asking me to do it again this is my bedroom all tanks have auto feeders now of course look at this auto feeder super good don't have to feel it very often when you have this going on the only thing is that my yellow labs I still have 60 60 yellow labs in here and 25 tiger barbs but I think I feed them too much now because they don't come out and beg for food like they usually do so the tank looks empty sorry about that but the plants look great as you can see yeah I need to take it down because they are supposed to greet me when I come in the door and they are not okay uh, that's gonna be hard to shoot but of course I'm gonna show you the lie down here on the bed this is the breeding for profit tank and like I suspected that plant and the water wisteria has really started to go crazy and that's good because we had a lot of algae problems in this tank before but it still goes very well super amount of guppies I actually moved away guppies already and yellow bristles with blue eyes probably a hundred in there I'm not even exaggerating I'm sure it's hundred in there looks like a jungle still have some algae problems but I bought four baby Siamese algae eaters hopefully they will do some work on the algae but I feed this tank so much so I'm not sure they're gonna eat algae when they can get so much good food instead but I like this tank and it's in the foot of my bed yeah uh, of course the turtles I told you before don't judge me because I didn't clean, I didn't do water changes on all the tanks before, blah blah blah. Like here, this is empty because I'm waiting for a new light. This is the only good light. This light I moved to another aquarium. And this light is... Oi! Sorry. <laughs> this is the small light that's supposed to be in this one. So that's why it looks so dark. But they are growing like crazy. Doesn't look very good without all the lights on but look at that big goldfish this is a fully grown turtle and look at that comment but I need some better lighting on this tank because it looks pretty dull right now but they are all happy and getting big water changes as usual let's move on 
to my favorite room, the living room. I'm gonna show you the top view so you can get an idea for other videos how it looks. And I put the blinds and the curtains down because I don't want to show someone local exactly where I live. This is the Goldfish Cube. You have seen it before. 60 gallons. The plants are doing great. Mixes of cryptocurine plants. But I moved one goldfish into the 75 because I got two new goldfish that you haven't even seen yet. I'm going to show you that in a minute. This tank is going very well. Of course, auto feeder. Auto feeders on all my tanks. Took a while to get them to perfect amount. But it's looking good now. My red Ryukin, my Ryukin Calico, and my. I bought this one as a lion head, but it looks like an Inga Oranda or something. I don't know what this is gonna be, but I really like him. It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, which tank nest? Yeah, of course, this tank. This would have looked so good. If you watched my swim tales when I showed you how many good looking plants I got from my brother, this was at least 40% of the tank with big lush green leaves and I killed them all. So now it's only fish. Doesn't look very good but it's gonna grow in in time. So give it time guys. These two, two new guys I bought from my brother. He wanted to keep something else in his aquariums and I couldn't pass on a huge randa and my favorite fish Ryu King Calicos so of course and they got the buddy from the other aquarium because this aquarium has so much filtration on it and it's bigger this is 75 gallons and this is just 60 gallons so three beasts in here is perfect and you should always th think about that with goldfish it looks better with three than it does with four. Looks better with five and so on. Odd numbers. One would look better than two in most cases. But that is my opinion. Super good filtration. Eheim Professional 4. Fluel 406 because I used to keep discus in here so it's a lot of filtration. And two Fluel 2.0 is underneath here. So I could plant this aquarium like crazy. This is the best lighting I have on any ta on any of my tanks easily. So, I really love goldfish. I wanted more. So I bought my brother's goldfish. And also some more baby Siamese algae eaters. Just now in the beginning because we have two 45 45 watts LED lights on top of this amount of plants so black beard algae started to come up so I bought the Siamese algae eater eaters to oh, to keep it under control okay and you saw this cape not much more to say about this wasn't that long ago looks the same always hard to get this tank on camera because it's so tall looks good rose fin tetras lost a lot of the green neon tetras when the, this heat came to Sweden so it's been like 86 in this tank degrees uh, Fahrenheit so a lot of fish has died because of that unfortunately unfortunately but it's okay you see why I don't do long cuts every time I say something wrong I can just cut it and do it again when we do a walkabout, you're gonna hear and see everything. Two auto feeders on this tank. But I know you want to see this tank. This is the rainbow tank that we want to carpet without using CO2. And without using ferts. And here comes the biggest one, at least in my opinion, with just sand. And we almost did it. Can you see that? Just some small places here but looking pretty good right now that mini hygrophila is really thick and lush those Anubias has started to come out again the Reneki mini Reneki 
uh, dwarf solitaria and quadrum helantum always forget the name of this plant sorry ask me again in the comment section if you really want to know so I can look it up one of my favorite tanks obviously I love the jungle look yeah and on top a lot of photos plants grown like crazy yep 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 two fx6s two fx6s on this tank and a hang on back filter so a lot of filtration with that photos plant yeah that's why the water is so clear looks amazing i love this aquarium could add more rainbows but that will it's too much of a risk always when you add new fish it's a risk but it's like 35 of them it would look even cooler with 50 okay but we're oh this is just a quarantine tank so nothing to look at photos plant hang on back aqua clear 50 pre filter sponge some leftover plants yeah nothing in it right now and the 175 gallon Faka tank it's looking crystal clear as well the algae is almost completely gone oh a survivor giant ram's horn that she hasn't eaten yet she is apparently shy of course when I'm making a video where I can't cut she's not gonna say hello sorry guys I'm gonna try to show her from the side I really like this aquarium too easy simple but all the debris comes out from the bottom and into the filters and I have a clue of bigger streamer over there okay there is Miss Sunshine Miss Grumpy Pants hello why are you always like this when I'm trying to make a video Come on. No, I'm not gonna spend too much time on her. Yeah. That was the fish room tour, I think. The very fast fish room tour. I felt like I wanted to do a fast one in an old school way and show you a lot of things in the same video because I should have made a lot more videos than I have right recently. So Thank you guys for not hating on me for that. I'm gonna get better at it, but you know, new routines and a lot more hours in a different city. Yeah. So, this is all my aquariums and they are doing well, even though I'm not here that often anymore. So, it's been a challenge, but it's really fun. So much fun going away where I have no aquariums and coming home to my zoo. So it's very nice. I wanted to try that before I made any drastic decisions. Moving there with everything, taking tanks down. Because I thought, I think I would like having a clean apartment over there. And the jungle over here because I'm gonna appreciate the jungle so much more when I go away from it and that is exactly how I feel every time I come home this is so different this is so cozy and I have my fish my pets and the other apartment is just work 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 so I can afford to have my pets <laughs> so it makes sense I'm in love with, with, this, with this guy already, so cute, always hungry, of course the beautiful Ryukin Kaliko as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you liked my take on it, just to show you all aquariums at once. Now you can show, tell me in the comment section what you want to see more, what do you think I should do and stuff like that because you have seen it all. It was a long time ago I did a fish room tour as well so bye bye guys
from Sax Tanks, the crazy aquarium guy. <laughs>